Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Real Divine Self-Care reading. So this is to get messages to support your Real Divine Self-Care here in the physical. So we're going to tap into the Self-Love deck for the messages that want to come out for right now. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Self-Care deck. So this is going to be direct messages when it comes to Real Divine Self-Care for yourself. We're going to tap into the Divine Power deck, the Real Divine Self-Care that is supporting your Divine Power here in the physical. We're going to tap into the Yes, the Divine Spirit deck. So this is going to be pure guidance that's going to be piggybacking on what just came out from Divine Spirit to your Divine Spirit. And we're going to end it with pure love from Spirit, which I feel like this all is. So there's a call for real Divine self-care, and I say that a lot, and that's why I even created this deck. It was really brought home to take real Divine self-care of yourself, of your energy, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, on all levels. Um, so that's what this reading, the intention is to support. So whatever the length of the video is, I'll look up the angel number message that will provide further support. Definitely pay attention to your own intuition besides what I say, but just clear out and get ready to receive now. It's a one, one, one on the video when I say this. This is to support your real divine self-care here. So let's see what are the messages that want to come through when it comes to real divine self-care. To support a real divine self-care. Okay, what are the messages? What are the clear messages that want to come through to support our real divine self-care? Like they kept on saying, we know it's not easy here. So I think it's piggybacking on that to support you with real divine self-care, with all that you're doing in the physical, with all that you're dealing with in the physical. They know. All of a sudden, my body just relaxed. It's like let go of everything that you've been holding on and clenching to. The number one card, break free. Yeah, I felt like a release. Um, they are saying that you could feel entrenched at this time. You could feel bogged down at this time. So this is, it is time to break free from feeling trapped by your past actions and the judgments of others. You can discard what no longer works for you. We kept on getting that judgment card. They want you to break free of judgments. Now, it could be judgments from other people that you feel burdened with, that feel are all over you. And it could be from what you're putting on yourself as well. But it's a time to break free. And I think that is why, and it's so fitting, it's a free spirit channel. But I do think that this reading in particular is trying to support us with breaking free from things that we feel bogged down, entrenched, trapped. And it could feel like we're this person in the card right here. So literally, it's time to break free from feeling trapped by your past actions and the judgments of others. You can discard what no longer works for you. So they're helping us to break free from the mental, emotional, anything that you feel burdened by. And you could feel that you're being helped with that we literally have a judgment card come out so it's definitely they want you to break free and dream bigger so this is going to it's almost like free yourself every single time that you feel bogged down trapped because they're trying to free you to dream bigger so this is what the energy that is supporting me doing this reading and why they're talking about real divine self-care to let go of those things that you felt trapped held bound back with or burdened from and dream bigger and it was 333 three, three on the video when this came out so it's like they are freeing you and they're going to be doing that 24 7 or calling to your attention on some level on how you can further break free of things so that you're free to dream bigger so that's the propelment of the energy that's trying to free you so sometimes we limit ourselves to small picture goals due to insecurity or fear of failure Failure isn't certain until we give up. Allow yourself to start building what you really want. Co-creators will come. So this is freeing yourself from the past, from the judgments and anything laid on from you from the outside, inside and dream bigger because they're saying do not limit yourself to small picture goals due to insecurity or fear of failure. That could have been a couple of things that you were put on you. Failure isn't certain until we give up. So allow your start to, to start really building what you really want. Those co-creators will come. Now this is your source and they're going to bring in people to make this happen. So free yourself and dream bigger. Free yourself and dream bigger. So we're going to get the real divine support messages, real divine uh, self-care messages that will enable us to free ourselves break free and dream bigger right to build start building more of what we really want 
So it's landing on dream bigger. So what is the real divine self-care that we can do that will support us dreaming bigger? Number one card out of all of it. You know when it's time to play and when it's time to get to work. Live balance. What did they have me post? If you look on the Free Spirit channel, that video, they said busy bees. Remember the busy bees. And they were referring to us. They said that we're so busy, uh, but be balanced. Be busy, but balanced. Those were the busy bees. They were referring to us as busy bees, and they were like, be busy, but balanced. So they're going to remind you when it's time to play, when it's time to get to work, live balanced. And it's interesting when they're talking about time, because here it says it's time to break free. So there's definitely going to be calling to your attention the time to break free, the time to play, the time to work, the time to be balanced on all levels. So something about that is they're going to enable you to really take the time that's necessary, whether if you're all work and no play, that you need breaks in between to allow yourself to break free of things and to live in a more balanced way, because that balance is actually going to enable you to dream bigger. It's going to support you to dream bigger. It's staying in that octave. I don't even have words for what they're giving me, but you're going to feel when it's time to play, when it's time to work, to live balanced, because that's going to support dreaming bigger. So it's going to support your energy. The next deck is divine power. So to live balanced, know when it's a time to work and play. It can't all be go, go, go work 24 seven. It's going to support your power. Just like I'm taking a break to do this video. It will probably support me, my energy with the work, right? To dream bigger, to build, to continue build up what you really want. It's going to feed you the right energy and it's going to help you break free of things. Yeah. It's falling towards the break free. So divine power to break free and dream bigger it's landing yeah you have divine power to leave it now so yeah so they definitely are propelling you to leave it now so whatever was symbol symbolizing this being bogged down and feeling trapped you have the divine power to leave it now yes and you have divine power so to use it now this is your divine power to use now to dream bigger to go and build more of what you really want they're encouraging you to do what you can for real divine self-care to remain balanced so it won't be all go 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 work 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 to break to break free and live balanced and go forward now and dream bigger you have divine power to use it now Use everything that they're giving you now. They're kind of supporting your divine power in the physical. So leave the things that are holding you back from breaking free of really allowing yourself to build, to build and go for what you really want. This is not about small picture goals. This is not about giving up. This is about going forward, right? Co-creators will come. So they're helping you to break free from whatever weighs you down to leave that. You have divine power to use now to dream bigger and go for it. In the process of doing that, it's really important to live balanced so you know what it's time to work when it's time to play. Almost like if you know you're starting to feel like this card, you're going to do something that propels you or supports you with the energy to get back in this in this uh, momentum of dreaming bigger. You're just going to notice a shift, just very similar to how, like, say I'm doing this reading when I probably have a gazillion things to do work-wise. Okay, so we're going to get into the Divine Spirit deck now. So this is supporting your dreams and building more of what you really want. This is not about small picture goals, feeling defeated, right? It's like defeated, trapped, weighed down. No, it's leaving that breaking free from that, using that divine power to dream bigger and continue to build and balance your energy to do so. So continue to express yourself at this time. They're going to give you that. Express yourself, express yourself, express yourself. It's going to build, help you build your goals here. Get on out there and have faith in your abilities. Those are the two things. It reminds me of these are all your rah-rah section. I almost want to I almost want to spread the cards out to show like the roster of the support you have in spirit. Like people always talk about, you know, loved ones passed on, right? So say these are a couple of those people there. Then you have your spirit guides. Then you have your angels. Then you have the archangels. So just a picture all of the this in the background of your life telling you, yes, go for dreaming bigger, break free and continue and have faith in your abilities. They're your rah-rah section, right? They're your rah-rah section. So they're helping you to break free and go forward and express yourself at this time and dream bigger. 
break free and dream bigger and have faith in your abilities. And whenever you feel yourself faltering, they're going to guide you like it's time to take a break. It's time to release something. It's time to feed yourself positivity, higher octaves so that you continue going and building more of what you really want. They're, they just are. We're going to end up with pure love from spirit. So breaking free and dream bigger. Have faith in your abilities as you go forward. And that balanced. We're helping you. You can't make this up. We are helping you. And it landed right on you. You have divine power to use. So this is why I'm doing this reading. They want you to know that you have divine power to use it now. We are helping you. So have faith in your abilities as you're going forward. Even if at times you may feel bogged down. They're like, do not you know, break free of this as quick as it comes. They're going to help you to do so, to have faith in your abilities at this time and keep going and dream bigger because the work that you're doing literally is building more of what you really want. Co-creators will come as a, is also lending to, we are helping you. Not only are they helping you, you have divine power to use to break free and dream bigger. But like they said, co-creators will come and that came out in the other reading. They're going to bring others in to help you co-create whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to build in your life, but continually have faith in your abilities. Now they're going to come in and tell you that. Um, and also whenever you need it to live balanced, take a break. If, in, if you need to connect again to this octave or free yourself again and keep going and keep expressing yourself because they're supporting this, okay? They are helping you and you have divine power to use for that. So this is why I am doing this reading because at times I do feel we feel like this as we're trying to accomplish this. And so they're having us have faith in our abilities, break free of whatever this symbolizes to you as quick as it comes. Remember to take care of your energy and live balance. The time to work, the time to take a break, the time to feel this support will get you right back in there and have faith in your abilities. And they're giving you divine power to use. So use it now. And we are helping you. So they are literally helping you to break free and dream bigger and continually go and have faith and express yourself and keep going because allow yourself to start building what you really want. Co-creators are going to come and they're saying, don't limit yourself to small picture goals out of insecurity, fear of failure, whatever these judgments were placed on you, whether it's others or yourself, they're going to continually help you to break free and stay balanced and keep going and co-creators will come. They're helping you to manifest and dream this into fruition. So that is where they're keeping you and they have to because then they're going to tell you to have faith in your abilities the whole time. So I wish you the best. Take care of yourself. No one is time to balance. Have faith in your abilities, but use what they're giving you to build on your dreams of what you really want. They're helping you at this time. And you're going to get that besides this reading. I don't have words for that, but you're going to get that in this read, it, beyond this reading in your everyday, that they're somehow swooping in to tell you to have faith in your abilities and keep going and dream bigger and co-creators will come. Um, you have divine power to use now. They're definitely helping you. But I love this, have faith in your abilities because they're your, they are your little rah-rah section. And there's something like whenever you feel almost bogged down in the mud or need to break free of something else, whether it came from you or another, they will because this they're manifesting this with you. Like you have divine power, so to use it now. So they are helping you to stay balanced and keep going and build more of what you really want. They're just going to keep you there. So I wish you the best with that. And whatever you're dreaming bigger, don't play it small and allow yourself to start building more, building more of what you really want. Co-creators will come and they are keeping you right there. I wish you the best with all that you're going for. Take care. Bye-bye.